It was about four years ago that Kelly Products CEO and founder Keith Kelly really saw the need and demand for fresh locally grown food. Now sure, his company was already successful at providing products and services spanning all segments of the agribusiness industry, but Keith was thinking beyond that. He wanted something big, something that would provide folks that demand for locally grown food year round. His vision, a grocery store, traditional butcher shop, and casual cafe and farmer's market featuring locally sourced farm to table offerings. On February 17th, that vision became a reality when the Farm View Market in Madison, Georgia opened its doors. A trip down US 129 and 441, it's easy to see how a person can mistake this for your standard strip mall. But once inside, you immediately realize the Farm View Market is anything but your normal shopping experience. You know, one of the really cool things about this venue, because we do have the cafe, the market, the butcher shop, and soon the farmer's market, is that it really caters to growers and vendors of all sizes. You know, if it's somebody that's growing a specialty crop that's really high quality, um, they may want to source the cafe if they're already doing, you know, a lot of restaurant business. If they have a larger supply, um, they may want to supply the grocery. And then people that might be looking for um, supplemental income or who already have a, a job during the week and are looking for something to do on the weekends might be a perfect fit for the farmer's market. Uh, Morgan County is a big agritourism county. We have a lot of antebellum homes here and stuff. So we really want to be a, to fit into this community. And so uh, in a way that would be pleasing, in a way that would fit the agritourism model. And, uh, and, and this, this complex here, what you see now is the, is the first phase of it, but we hope to add more things. In fact, the farmer's market will go in in about three weeks. From there, we hope to put in a creamery next year, and we've got other things like pottery and woodworking and metalworking, other artisan-type shops that we hope will go in in the next two to three years to really make it a, a complex here where a person could come spend a half a day, could learn and could take educational courses on how to do some of those type things. Uh, learn how to cut meat and do a lot of things that we're planning to add back to this whole thing. In addition to farming, Keith Kelly tells me he has a deep passion for wood, which explains why he went to great lengths to secure not one, but two barns that date as far back as the 1700s, both of which are focal points of the market. Unfortunately, you can't find these type of barns in the south. You have to get above a line in the country where powder post beetles and uh, termites don't exist. And so to find these barns, you have to go to the north. And uh, we found both these barns up in New York, upper New York, with a company called Heritage Restorations that we uh, actually purchased them through. They were standing when we bought them. They went in and uh, took them down, deconstructed them, took them to Waco, Texas, and refurbished them, and brought them back here and stood them for us. And uh, the first barn where our butcher shop is, is about an 1830 to 40 English barn. And it was built as a hay barn. You could tell it by the structure of it that it was a hay barn. And it was in a region of the country where pastures and cattle and things were prominent. Uh, the other barn is a Dutch barn and it was built somewhere around 1770. We don't have the exact date yet, but actually Cornell is doing an aging for us right now. And sitting under those barns, some of the finest products the state of Georgia has to offer. Names you may recognize like Hillside Orchard, Mountain Fresh Creamery, and Georgia Olive Farms, just to name a few. Being Founders Circle Georgia Grown members, we went to the source. We contacted the Department of Agriculture and asked for the Georgia Grown members list, and that's where we started. Throughout the store, you'll see different designators on all of our products. Um, we have uh, products from Georgia. Uh, we have products that are hyper-local, which to us means produced within 50 miles of our facility. We have products that are southern sourced, which means they're from a state that borders Georgia. And then we also have our um, Georgia Grown and our Flavors of Georgia winner uh, designations throughout. Um, we're also featuring a lot of the Flavors of Georgia winners throughout our store. I don't know, it turned out really nice. And I, you know, the whole facility is, is, it did, it really exceeded my expectations. But more than that, people turning out have really, really exceeded my expectations. We're doing numbers today that I thought we would do, uh, you know, four or five months from now. <clears throat> so. It just has been accepted a lot faster than I anticipated. 